of the best things about home day is having so many experts on hand to ask for home improvement and decor advice because while you're here, we're, we're going to use you. We're going to pick your <laughs> brains. We're going to pick Brian, Dave, and Joey's brains. So I'm going to head up to the audience because I know there's quite a few of you that have questions for all of the brain power in the, uh, in the studio today. Victoria, you have a question. And who do you want to ask this question to? Anyone really, because to me it's been a difficult find for me. I yeah. have these ceramic, beautiful gray floors, but they don't so much match my new kitchen because it's gray cupboards. But the oh. biggest problem is that I have a dog and my son, and my dog is always drooling on the floor, and I'm nearly wiping out. Yes, <laughs> yes. And then my son's coming in the door because there's a front door and the patio door off the same level of floors. And when they walk in with the winter boots and stuff, yes. I'm, I'm nearly breaking my neck almost every day. Okay. So I'm looking for a nice tile, or even I like the idea of wood, but we've had wood before where the tiles or the wood actually did come up yeah so we don't want that w solid wood because I know it will come up with too much water damage you're absolutely right Victoria I'm right with you I've so, got the drooling dog and also <laughs> the teenage kids with the boots <laughs> so um, what do you need you want you want an option for flooring I want an option something that's gonna prevent us from all slipping and something that looks nice and trendy Okay, I think the stuff. real problem is, I think you need boarding school and a <laughs> bib for the dog. I know for a lot of our clients, we've been installing a lot of luxury luxury plank vinyl. There it is. The yes. tongue twister. Um, and it's very durable, it's water resistant, and it does have a lot of traction. Uh, we had one client who had hardwood floors and the dogs were running around and you could see the line they would take. You could see their path. <laughs> yeah. But with the luxury vinyl, it's a lot more durable. So even the dog scratching at it, it's not going to damage it. And then the water damage as well won't affect it. And it looks so real. Yes. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Can you lay it on top of the tile or no? You could actually, yeah. So depending on the size of the That's grout good. joints, yeah. you could fill the grout joints in and then lay the luxury vinyl right over top of it. You just have to make sure everything works out with the heights of the other floors around. I love it. Okay, before we even move on, though, we need to see a picture of the dog, because I've seen the dog. You don't want this dog to go anywhere. Look at this dog. You let that dog drool. That is so cute. Because we were talking about the dog before. Okay, great answer, guys. Thank you so much for that. Carol. Hi, Carol. Okay, you've got a question for our esteemed experts. What do you want to ask? Watermarks is on the ceiling in in my kitchen yeah my bathroom is above right. so I got someone to look at it for me and they said it's callousness because we are letting our shirt curtain go into uh, the floor yeah. but I don't think so I think something is worse than that so what yeah, do you want to ask water. them well I want to ask what do I do how do I yeah how do I fix it what because yeah. it's, I'm worried that it might yeah. get worse I hear you yeah there's nothing like the water stain mark and you're just looking at it grow and you're like oh yeah. boy yeah. <laughs> this exactly. looks like money yeah. Yeah. what should she do so there's a few things here so you want to establish whether it's a constant water so one of the big things here is how fast that's growing so you can trace it out on the ceiling to see if it's constantly growing because that means it could be a hole in a water line which is a much bigger issue if it's only growing after a shower or after a toilet flushes or something along those lines uh, then you can kind of dial into which appliance or which uh, water supply in that room is causing the issue and that'll help to kind of narrow down where things need to get opened up and uh, what needs to be fixed and it could even just be the grout in between the tiles mm -hmm. if the grout is coming out or if any of the silicone around is loose then there could be water. Water is mean. It yeah. finds a route through anywhere to get to where it wants to go. So mm -hmm. inspect your grout and your silicone around would be a, a good idea as well. Is it expensive? Is it expensive <laughs> to get that check out? The answer um, is yes. Okay. You, no, you can check this yourself. Right. So this is something you can look at around the perimeter of your house. And if you see any holes, water is going to find its way through there. And if you're not and you're still noticing it grow, that's where it gets a little bit more expensive, where you could cut a hole out of the ceiling to be able to see if there's any water leaking through the plumbing. Um, and if there is, then there's just some drywall repair to patch it. So it's not a huge expense unless you get into the whole bathroom renovation. Okay. Thank you for the answer and thank you for the question. It was a very good question. I love that. And now you're going to see how our other experts also use our experts because Sarah <laughs> has a question for our design oh, experts nice. right now. Sarah, what would you like to ask? So I'd like to ask Brian, does your door color, your exterior door color of your front door, does it have to match your shutters? No, that's as a, a matter of fact, it shouldn't because that's the same thing. It gets to 
bland if everything is the same color. Right. So shutters, garage door can all be the same color. But the front door, that's where you can have fun with the pop, whether it's a color, whether it's a shiny finish, so your shutters would be more of a matte finish or a satin finish. Your front door could be like a high gloss blue or high gloss red or a high gloss black. So you can really have fun with the front door. So good. Okay, thank you, everyone. And remember, if you're watching this thinking, why can't I ask a question? You can. Email us, submissions at cityline.tv. Include your photos, include video, or come here in the audience, and then you get, like, the pick of the litter here. You get all the experts for you.